Hello Coffee Beans and welcome to a new video. As you can probably guess, I'm doing something a little different today. I thought because it's the end of the year and I've been doing this content creation since April or May. Um, I thought why don't we rank all of the Sims 4 packs? Now this is just my personal opinion. You may not like some of the ones that I like. Um, you may like some of the ones I don't like. This is purely just my opinion. So the categories we have are God tier, need it, like it, eh, hate it, and delete it. I don't think there will be a lot in delete it. I am fairly forgiving, but there may be one or two. Um, so I have all of the packs here. As you can see, there are a few, so we'll try and get through this as quickly as we can. Backyard stuff. Um, it's a stuff pack. I mean, it's okay. I'd, um, I'd probably put it in... Eh, you know? It's got some cool stuff in it, but it's not, like, a necessity. If I was to remove it from my game, I probably honestly wouldn't notice. Basement treasures is a need it. I love doing like renovation, like rags to renovation stories and stuff like that in my game. And Basement Treasures just adds a lot of like old rundown looking stuff. Um, plus, I have got now got stuff to fill basements and attics when I build them into my homes. So I do like Basement Treasures. Bathroom clutter is a god tier. I love clutter. Anything that adds clutter. I want a kitchen clutter. I need kitchen clutter. Um, so anything that adds clutter to me game is a win for me. Uh, Blooming Rooms, I like it, but it's... I know like people love plants and things like that in The Sims. I not a huge plant person it has a couple of things that i like like that hanging plant um but it, it's okay book nook is god tier i love books and i love everything that comes in that the modular bookcases the the um furniture the little pictures as well love it so i love that bowling night is probably another eh. i mean it's fun to have somewhere to go that's not just like a bar there's something to do it's like a hobby but uh, the the bb and cast is okay but i don't really use it very much bust the dust i do like um i like to add a little realism sometimes i mean sometimes yes it gets annoying when you have to constantly hoover but they have patched it quite a bit um, so it's not as bad as it was. So I do actually like that. Carnival streetwear. I'm not a huge fan of like bright colours. I don't wear a lot of bright colours. There are some nice assets in it. Um, like there's a nice dress that I put on some of my Sims for their hot weather wear. And there, there are some nice things in it. But it's I'm not really for me i i can i'm kind of scared of bright colors uh cats and dogs as i need it i love like i love cats and dogs i love the pets um they can be a little annoying sometimes but i do love them city living is god tier for me i am a huge city living fan not just because of akira i just like the whole vibe in san Myshuno. i like living in the apartments i like the festivals um that's got like the karaoke bar in it so yeah um city living's up there for me i spend a lot of time in san my uh cool kitchen is probably it used to be it probably used to be up here but then home chef hustle kind of blew it out of the water so i'm gonna say meh just because i don't use it as much anymore cottage living is an well where'd it go Oh, no, we don't hate cottage living. Cottage living is another god tier one for me. I love the whole cottage vibe. I love the animals. 
I love Henford. I love like how it's like a little community. Um, I love like the little town square and all the characters you can meet and you can do things with. I just I love that whole small town village vibe. I think it is really cool. Country Kitchen is probably another meh. You're probably going to find a lot in me. Purely because it's, like, I prefer cottage living. Like, it's nice, but I prefer the stuff that came in cottage living to country kitchen. There's a couple of things I would probably use from country kitchen. A little bit of the clutter. But for the most part, it's, eh. eh. Courtyard Oasis. I think I used it when it first came out and then I've not touched it again. I mean, it's nice, but I just don't use it very much at all. It's very niche. Decor to the max, I don't like. Um, again, like I said, I don't like bright colours. Um, it's very maximalist, and I am just not like that. So, I mean, there's some things that are nice, like that wall piece I use sometimes. But for the most part, I don't really use anything from decor to the max. Um, I use, oh, some of the wallpapers. Some of the wallpapers I'll use as like a feature wall. But again, for the most part, I don't really use. Uh, Desert Lux I love. So we, we got that for free. Um, I just love the stuff that's in there. Um, I use a lot of it all the time, like the little um, like sofa bench thing and the lounge chairs, things like that. I just really love And the curtains. The curtains are my favourite thing in the whole world. So yeah, Desert Lux is definitely a need it. Um, Dine Out I like. It's very still, very buggy sometimes. It takes can sometimes take forever i know they've patched it a lot but it can still sometimes feel like your sim is there till like the wee hours of the night um waiting for their food or the server gets there and drops their food on the floor so you're waiting even longer i use carol's dine out mod which does help a lot um but for the most part i'd say dine out is i like it discover university i do like I don't like how long university takes, so I do have a mod to reduce that. Um, I've also got a mod to make the homework faster, purely because it takes ages. Um, and it just feels like you're just doing homework constantly and nothing else. So to make that a little easier, I do have mods to make it faster, so that your sim can still have a bit of a social life and do other things while at university. But I do like it. Dream Home Decorator is up there in God tier. Those kitchen counters are my favourite thing in the world. Um, and the paintings, the art, um, the modular stuff. I just, yeah, Dream Home Decorators Build By is just god tier for me. The cast is nice, but the the Build By just makes that for me. Um, I do love Eco Lifestyle. I love the candle making. I love the fabrication I love that you've got a freelance career as well as like a proper career the only thing I don't really like is the naps which I have turned off so that only I can vote on those and also the um the smog and things like that in Evergreen Harbour because if I just want to live in Evergreen Evergreen Harbour and not do all that I would rather just not have the Smog and stuff. I know you can turn it off. It's just I never remember to actually do it. <laughs> Everyday clutter. Love it. As I've already established, we love clutter. And some of the stuff that came in Everyday clutter is just amazing. Like the phone, the glasses, the little um, tub with the money and things like that. Um, that little shelf that goes next to the door that's got like your mail and keys hanging from it. It just it is given such nice little things to make it look like somebody actually lives in the house. Fashion Street is probably... No, I do like it. It's got some nice stuff in it. Um, First Fits Kit, I, I love. P 
purely because there's just not enough kids stuff in the game. Like, I love that it gave me more stuff, like more clothing for the kids. Um, and it's nice clothing. I think this was one they consulted with um, a, a summer on. I can't remember. But I do like the stuff. The, the little jumper that's got the backpack and all of that is really cute. Fitness, I'd probably say meh. It gives us the rock climbing wall, which is cool. But other than that, it doesn't really give us anything new. Um, the cast is okay. But... Yeah, it's it's a it's a meh. For rent, I'm gonna put in like purely because I I would put it higher maybe and need it. I don't think it would make God tier, but I would put it higher and need it if it wasn't so buggy. It is very buggy right now, so just now I'm gonna put it in like. The cast is cute, the build by is cute, but the gameplay right now is just. I've not played enough of the gameplay, plus it's just been very buggy. Things aren't working, aspirations aren't ticking off properly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put for rent and just simply like it. Get Famous, I put it in like as well. The, the fame thing's cool when you're working on it, but when you don't really want to work on it, I know again you can opt out. But sometimes I just forget or don't want to. Um, so yeah, it's annoying with the whole fame going up and down and up and down. And it's actually quite hard to get to like five stars, which I know it probably is in real life as well. But yeah, it's yeah. And the actor career is OK, but it's a bit repetitive. So most of the time I just don't really play as an actor purely because I can't be bothered taking them into work all the time although unlike like detective and doctor and scientist there aren't really requirements for you to go to work with them um because there's not like set goals they have to do like a, with the doctor career you've got to cure so many sims and with the detective career you've got to solve so many crimes and things like that so i'd say i like it get to work the cast and the build by I don't like, but I do love the doctor career, the detective career, and the scientist career. I love those active careers. I've played with them quite a few times. Uh, the detective one's probably my favourite. It is a little glitchy sometimes, but I still love it. So she gets to live there. Get Together is another one I love. I love Windenburg. I love that you've got the coffee, the cafes in it. I'm a huge coffee fan, so you can go to a cafe on a date or with your friends or just to chill and read a book and drink your coffee. So yeah, Windenburg is very pretty. I do love it. I love the, the Tudor style of the buildings there. Um, like I said, I love the, the cafe stuff. Um, you've got clubs as well. They're quite useful sometimes. So yeah, I'm going to say get together as in need it. Greenhouse Haven, I do like it. I think it's cool that we've got some assets for creating greenhouses. I love the little plant that comes with it. That little baby, the little teeny tiny, wow, well, love it. Put that thing in everything on the back of my toilets, on little shelves, uh, yeah, everywhere. That plant lives rent free in my brain. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I do like Greenhouse Haven. Um, but again, unless you're building a greenhouse or an outdoor like plant gardening area, it's <clears throat> not as versatile as some other packs that we've got. Um, but other uh, like other than that plant, which I just seriously, I put that thing everywhere. I love it. Uh, growing together is god tier. I love the milestones. I love the bike riding for the kids. I love that they lose their teeth now. Um, they've got the splash zone. Rec centers are cool, but not really that big a deal. Um, I love infants. The infant stuff that comes with it. 
um, growing together was definitely a big game changer for family dynamics in The Sims 4. And I do like it. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like is that whenever you try to give your toddler a bath, it's like, oh, they've got a strict relationship. No, no, they don't. They don't have a strict relationship. You're just taking care of your toddler. You're being a good parent. How does being a good parent and giving your stinky toddler a bath make you strict? It does not. So, for that we don't like. But the rest of it, I love. I love the build by as well. I love the cast. It's good. Grunge Revival, I love. I It just brings back memories. I love the little dress with the backpack. I love the other assets. I love the chipped nail varnish. I love the tattoo, the one that's just the writing. I just, yeah. Grunge Revival, we do love. Um, high school years, I'd probably say I like. So I really like the build by. I love some of the the cast that's geared more towards teens. I like the Boba Tea and Thrift store that is like that the pack is basically geared towards teenagers, which I do like because I feel teens I don't know, teens are just kinda of boring. Um there just doesn't seem to be a lot that your teenagers can do and they look too much like adults as well. So yeah, I do like the prom and things like that, but I just find going to high school with them is kind of boring and, again, repetitive, a bit like the um, actor career. Home Chef Hustle, God tier. Love it. Love it. Stuff packs are back and they came out with just a belter of a pack. I absolutely love the kitchen counters and the cooker and the fridge, the new appliances, just yeah home chef hustle is just chef's kiss for me i absolutely love it horse ranch yeah i like it i don't really care about horses so much i like the goats and the little sheep um i like the build by and some of the cats but overall it was eh. it's okay i like it it's not quite meh, it's not quite like I love it and need it. So yeah, it's okay. Inching Arrivals, God tier. Love the cast. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Like it's got nice men's stuff. It's got really nice women's stuff. I just love this kit. I use the the C, the cast stuff for this a lot. It is just, oh, love it, love it, love it. Industrial Loft, I also love. <clears throat> it's not quite God tier, but I do love it. I use it a lot. I use the the plant wall a lot. I use the bed a lot. I just I use the couch a lot. I love it. I love the Industrial Loft kit. Um, it's got some really nice stuff in it, and I love it. Island Living, we love. If mermaids were better, it would be in God tier. I love Solani. It is beautiful i love the build by i love the cast it's got some really cute cast stuff in it especially swimwear um and we are sorely lacking with swimwear sometimes but mermaids were done dirty there's no they're like aliens and that there's no trait system for them there's no like like with uh, spellcasters and vampires and werewolves, you've got like the different levels and the different traits and different things that they can do. There's nothing for that, like for mermaids, and I th wish there was. Plus, your children can't be like don't get a tail or anything like that. And I just yeah, mermaids could have been so much better, but they were done dirty. Like so yeah, for that reason. Island Living is only an Anita and not a God tier. Because they've done my mermaids dirty. Journey to Batu. This is probably going to be a bit controversial and you might not like it. But I do like Journey to Batu. I am a Star Wars fan. I love Star love the Star Wars franchise. I've seen all the films, um, the TV shows, all of that. I do love Star Wars, but I do like Journey to Batuu. I thought it was cute that we could go to Batuu and you can get a lightsaber and a droid and you can meet Rey and Kylo and you can become 
either a smuggler or a Jedi or a Sith. I do like it. I mean, yes, it, it's not something I play a lot, but can we just talk about the the build assets for this? Those floors and that wallpaper. You know what ones I'm talking about. Love them. Love them. So yeah, I like Journey to Batu. Um, and I don't apologise for it. Because I do. I like having a droid. Okay, I love, I'm a big droid fan. R2-D2, BB-8, Chopper, Dio. Them's are my boys. Okay, love them. I Behind me, and you will see it when I start doing face cam, which is going to be in the new year. Behind me is my wall of Lego. And I have BD-1, Dio, R2-D2, um, BB-8, Grogu, and a Pork. I'm a, a, a the, yeah, I'm a droid stan. And I can have a droid if I go to Batu, okay? Or you can have little toys. The little toy Ewok is like the cutest thing in the world. So yeah, Batu is an alike. Jungle Adventure, I love. I love it. I get to play out my Lara Croft, Nathan Drake, Indiana Jones fantasies in The Sims. I very much enjoy Jungle Adventure. I would like more worlds like that, where there's actually stuff, like vacation worlds, where there's stuff to do. So, like, yeah, you can go to Granite Falls and you can... Um, play about in the parks and wander about the tree. But there's not really any activities to do. Whereas when you go to Selva Dorada, we have the, the cute little market stalls and then you've got the temples and it's fun and it's something to do. And yeah, it's quite quick so you don't need to stay there for very long but you can take your time with it. Um, you don't have to do it all in like a couple of days. But yeah, I just, I like it. I love it. I love Jungle Adventure. I love the cast and the build by as well. Some of that build by is just so good. I love the colours and yeah. So Jungle Adventure is a like from me. Kids Room, or sorry, a love from me. Kids Room is going to go in like because it is cute. There's some nice, like I said before, we're sorely lacking with kids stuff sometimes. So having like the void critter and the furniture that's geared towards children... Um, there's the puppet thing. So yeah, it was. there's more kids stuff in it, which is cute. So I do like that one. Laundry day I like. I don't always like having laundry in my games because sometimes it gets a little annoying and things build up quickly, especially if you've got like a lot of Sims in your house. The mess builds up quickly and you have to constantly be doing laundry. I have to do that in real life a lot, you know? So I don't always have it in, but sometimes I do like for a bit of realism to have it there. So I do like it. Little Campers is right up there in God tier. I love this little kit. It's cute. Again, geared towards children. I would love some more stuff for toddlers and infants and teenagers as well. Um, but yeah, it's very cute and I do love the, the build by assets in that. Luxury Party is going to go in meh. I like the cast. I use especially this dress you can see here quite often. But other than that, it's pretty meh. It's one of the smaller packs. One of, one of the first staff packs and one of the smaller ones. So it's not the best. It doesn't have a lot of build, uh, buy stuff in it. Um, but the cast is cute. I love the hair. One of the hairs... Um, so yeah, it's it's going into meh purely because I like the cast, but it is sorely lacking. Um, then we have the modern Lux kit. So this is one of the one of the recent kits that we got, and I do like it. I'd probably put it in love, maybe in love. It's like between like and love, because there's some stuff I love about it. And some stuff I just like about it. Like, I love the paintings. They're cute. Um, I wish the bed... I mean, it's meant to be a luxury thing. I wish the bed was a higher 
like sleep thing but it's only like a five or something i'd like more 10 bits i do like yeah i like the stuff in it um i'll put it in love modern wins where honestly could go and delete it it's just not my style my personal style it's like de decor to the max except there are a couple of things in decor to the max that i would use there's nothing nothing in modern's men where menswear that i actually like i'm not i don't know i just i'm not a huge fan of the knits and things like that i mean fair dues if you do like it i'm not saying it's the worst pack in the world or anything like that it's just for me personally it's not something I like. It took me a long time to actually buy modern menswear and I only bought it because I'm doing like my YouTube and my Twitch now and I'm also a bit of a completionist. I, it annoyed me that there was a gap in my collection. So I did buy it. I did look at all of the casts. There's maybe a couple of cute things. I like the skirts but it's just not not my kind of style. So unfortunately it's going in delete. Moonlight Chic, I do like. Um, I like the clothes. I think the dress is nice. Um, there's a couple of things that I would like. There's like a kind of furry, not really furry, but there's like a nice jumper. Yeah, I like the Moonlight Chic kit. Machino is probably going to go in meh. I don't like the clothes. I like the freelance photographer career, um, but it's kind of annoying sometimes, so I don't use it a lot. Um, so yeah, I'd say it's probably meh. Movie Hangout. Mm, between meh and like. I'll put it in like. I like the popcorn. I like that it adds, like, added the films and stuff to the TV. I like, like, the big outdoor screen and things like that. I like the big indoor screen to use when I make, like, uh, pretend cinema and stuff. So, yeah, there are things I like about it. There's some of the cast stuff I liked as well. Like this hairstyle, which was, like, the braid into the ponytail. So, we'll put it in, like, my first pet. I use I very rarely use it. Um I u I've used the the little terrarium things maybe once or twice. I rarely ever use my first pet. And I don't like the fact that you have to have cats and dogs in order to access most of my first pet. So that's gonna go and delete. My wedding stories we're gonna put in meh. It would be higher up. But the weddings are just so broken. Like, it could have been so game-changing. But it's just so annoying. Um, but I like the build-by and the cast. Especially the cast. I love the dresses. Um, I love the suit. I love the kids' stuff. So, yeah, it's going to go in meh. It's the, the cast and the build-by save it from being in either of these but the weddings stop it from being in either of these. It would never be God tier, but I could have loved it, you know? Nitty -nit nifty knitting, we're going to put in love or need it. I just, I love that it's another hobby. Like, you can just have your Sims knit. It's got some cute stuff that you can knit, like the little toys and the clothes, the, like the baby grows and stuff. So, yeah, I love Nifty Knitting. I wish there was more, like, neutral swatches in some of the Nifty Knitting build-by assets. Um, there are some, but most of them are quite colourful. And as we know, I am kind of afraid of colour. My black little soul cannot take it. So, yeah, we put it in love. Outdoor Retreat, honestly, they could delete it and I wouldn't care got some nice stuff in it but I never I hardly ever use it and I never really go to Granite Falls that much. Paranormal we love. Um, I love the build by. I love the career. I love the haunted house. I know the haunted houses are. Is it base game to make a lot of haunted house? 
Um, but yeah, the career, the build by, I use the build by a lot. Even the cast, some of the cast is really cute. So we're going to put that in need. And God tier, parenthood. Love parenthood. It was the first one that focused on family gameplay. It gave us the parenting skill. It gave us the kids asking for advice. Um, the monster under the bed, which is annoying and I have turned off comes it came in like the update or something like that i can't remember um but it came around the same time as parenthood um i like the interactions that you can do with your kids like hug lovingly and things like that um yeah it's a very cute wholesome family gameplay style pack and we loved it love it pastel pop i like it's cute it's got some nice color stuff in it I like the build, I like the assets that are in it, like the bed and things like that. So yeah, we'll put that in like. Perfect patio, we'll put in meh. It came with hot tubs, which was cool, but then they gave us a base game hot tub. Okay, nobody asked for that base game hot tub, and it's not exactly the best. But, eh, it's kind of redundant now. Poolside Splash, I like. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put it in need it. Because, like I said before, we're sore, we were sorely lacking in swimwear for The Sims. I was getting so bored of using the same swimwear over and over and over again. So Poolside Splash did actually save me from that. And it did come with some cute stuff. So I'm going to put it in need it. Realm of Magic, I love. Um, I love anything to do with magic. I love sports witches and warlocks and magic and fantasy and all that kind of stuff and some of the spells and the potions are actually like really useful um like reperio and scrubberoo and things like that you can torment people you can have fun you can make food um so yeah i'm gonna put that in love romantic garden is gonna go in meh because there's some cute stuff, but I'm not sure if it wasn't in my game if I would notice. I mean, I like the flowers and some of the, like this little dress that she's wearing in the picture is cute. I love the hair. The hair that came in that game I used a lot before we got newer updated hairs. So I do kind of like it, but like I said, if it wasn't there, would I really notice? Seasons, god tier. Just god tier we get the seasons we get the um the weather uh we got winter fest and halloween and harvest fest and you can make like easter and i yeah i love the planner and everything that you can do um so yeah seasons is in god tier those doors the, the windows oh i use them constantly I use a lot of the cast stuff constantly. It comes in one of my favourite wood tones. So yes, um, Seasons is God tier. Sentiments, sentiments I like. Um, I like having some new pyjamas and things like that. Sleepwear, because again, it was something... Um, something we were needed because there's not a lot of sleepwear in this game so yeah sentiments i will say is a like um snowy escape i'd probably put that in like it i don't really go to mount comarebi a lot i don't really live in mount comarebi a lot but i do like the rock climbing and the, the festivals look cute um the world's pretty I do love the world. I love the Japanese style. I love all that stuff. It just it reminds me of like all the animes and things like that I watch. Um, so yeah, I do love it. I love the build by assets. Again, it comes in a very nice wood tone. Um, I do use the build by a lot, especially like the bed and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll put it in. I'll put it in like, but I don't think I use it enough for it to really go in love. Again, if it wasn't there, would I really care so much? Spa day, I like. I like going to the spa. I like you can get your nails done now. Or you can get a massage if you're wanting. Twins, you can get a fertility massage. Um, 
there's deaths in it, there's woohoo in it. Um, so yeah, I like the spas. Um, I like doing get my sims to do yoga or meditation or going to the sauna and things like that. So yeah, I like it. Spooky day, they could delete that and I wouldn't care. I mean, some of it's cute. The, the little ghost wallpaper is cute. But if it, again, if it wasn't there, would I really even notice? Probably not. Strangerville I love. I know some people are probably mixed on Strangerville, but I love Strangerville. I just wish it was bigger, like the town was bigger and you can put more things in it. But I love having that um, aspiration that takes you through a story. I'd love more aspirations like that. I love Strangerville. I think it's a really cute little town. I love the vibes. I love the mystery. I love the the BB. Oh, the doors. Again, the doors, the windows. I recently did some recolors of those. You can find them on my Patreon. They are in early access at the moment, but they will be public in January. Um, I did some more like neutral toned recolors for them, um, like uh, wood tones and things like that, or and a true black one because there was no black swatch. What is that about? Um, so yeah, you can find those on my Patreon. They are for the windows, the doors, the fences, the gates, and the stair railing. Um, and I just I love those doors anyway. Those front doors for medium height walls I use a lot. So yeah, Strangerville is um I definitely I love. Throwback fit, meh. I mean I do use it sometimes, but if it wasn't there, would I care? Probably not, because there's other fitness athletic where you could use. It is cute. Uh, tiny living is a love for me. I love the tiny lots. I when I do rags to riches, I use tiny lots a lot, especially for gaining skills and friendships and things like that. I love the boost you get. Um, I just love building tiny lots as well. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the tiny living, the the cat and the baby as well. I use it a lot. Toddler, I will say I like. I liked that we got some toddler stuff in it. We won't discuss the ball pit. We won't. We know what we know what the deal is with the ball pit. We know what happened when it first came out. Okay, so we're not going to discuss it. But I do like that it came with a slide, although there are slides in other games now. Um, so we don't really need it as much. Um, I liked some of the cast stuff. It was cute. And again, we're sorely lacking for toddlers. I'd like a toddler kit. And an infant kit and a teen kit and some more hobbies for them to do. But it is cute. I do like it. Vampires. Vampires I like. Vampires and werewolves. We'll do these two together. My wedding stories. No. We'll do these two together. I love. It's like Realm of Magic with the spellcasters. I like vampires and werewolves. I like the occult and the supernatural and things like that. Um, I like the build by assets and the worlds, but I don't use them very much. I find the werewolves and the vampires, unlike spellcasters, can be quite annoying. Like the constant hissing and the need for plasma and the fury and the rage and the turning into a werewolf and running riot. And they are kind of stressful sometimes. So yeah, they are going and like it. Not quite love. Because there are some annoyances. And Vintage Glamour is probably going to... Eh. The butlers are annoying. But some of the asset, like the cast assets were cute. And some of the build buys is cute. Um, especially when you want to make like mansions and stuff like that. Uh, but with that, we're done. I have now ranked all of the packs... Um, I got the pictures from, where did I get the pictures from? EA. I got them from the EA website. Um, so all of those different colours kind of give me anxiety. <laughs> I like conformity. Um, but yeah, that is all of the, the packs ranked. So the god tier ones for me personally are Bathroom Clutter, Book Nook, City Living, Cottage Living, Dream Home Decorator, Everyday Clutter, Growing Together, Home Chef Hustle, Inch on Arrivals, 
um, Little Campers, Parenthood and Seasons. And the next tier, the Need It tier for me, are Basement Treasures, Cats and Dogs, Desert Lux, Eco Lifestyle, First Fits, Get to Work, Get Together, Grunge Revival, Industrial Loft, Island Living, Jungle Adventure, Modern Lux, Nifty Knitting, Paranormal, Poolside Splash, Realm of Magic, Strangerville and Tiny Living. And the rest I like or just don't care enough about. Um, so yeah, you can let me know if there are any... In a, in a constructive and nice way, please, let me know if there are any you don't agree with, if there are any you would rank higher or lower, um, you can let me know in the comments below. I will also link this in the comments um, in the description, so if you want to do this as well, then you are free to do it. Uh, you can always share a little snippet of this with me. Over on Twitter, I am at Summer Obsess, if you don't already follow me. Um, but yeah, please let me know if you like this video, um, if you like the tier list, what you agreed or don't agreed with. As I said, in a constructive and friendly way, please. Let's not pile on me just because I don't like your favourite kit or pack or anything like that. Everybody has their own opinions and they are entitled to such. Um, but yeah, let me know below what you think and um, please also like this video and subscribe um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!